When was the last touch? When was the last kiss? When did you hold me like this? Too fast. Too fast. Okay. Wait a I'm from Michigan. Originally, yeah, I was raised in Michigan. I wanted to be sort of like a actor, singer, dance, you know, all around talented person. You know? <laughs> but then when I got to New York, I found out that there were many like me <laughs> who were multi talented. I'm a real New Yorker, born in the Bronx, raised right here in the city. And um, I guess music's always been a part of my life from the church. It just kind of ha all happened to me, you know, uh, just from meeting Nick in church, really. They met more than 20 years ago in a church in Harlem. Valerie Simpson was 17, a singer in the choir. Nicholas Ashford was 21, broke and looking for a good meal. The result of that meeting, Ashford and Simpson. They began their career together as songwriters, writing a love song for a pop gospel group. They've been writing love songs together ever since. Fortunately, when we work, there's always some, some piece of a song, some germ of an idea coming out. Some days are your great days, though, you know, and, and the ideas just click, you know, and everything is just coming out, and it's like, oh, it's another good one. Ashford and Simpson have been clicking in the popular music industry since the mid-60s, when they were staff writers for Motown. It's really where we developed our craft. I mean, as far as uh, being fast and also trying to be good, and our quality songs because the competition was so great. And with the way they responded to your material, I mean, the praise, I mean, it's like, yeah. when you had something good, I mean, it was like you were the king for the day, you know what I mean? Uh, because they were music people, they really appreciated it, a wonderful song. And they turned out wonderful song after wonderful song for the biggest stars in the industry, Nick writing the lyrics and Valerie the music. They still write and produce for other performers different working with other artists and we really love it because they bring something else to your music mm -hmm. which is which is wonderful I, I think we pride ourselves on not repeating ourselves because it becomes so dull that you have to keep digging in there and seeing what else is down there we try to remember to do a little bit of living so we have something to write about <laughs> Ashford and Simpson began performing together in the early 70s all their own material, naturally, which has earned them 22 gold and platinum records and more than 50 ASCAP awards. They write and sing about love and solid relationships, songs that reflect their 12 years of marriage. For us, I think what's made it so easy uh, is that our relationship did not begin as a love relationship. Uh, we began as friends and did not think there was going to be any romance. Usually, as a, as a lady trying to attract a gentleman, I would try to be as wonderful, I would try to be cute, I would try to be attractive and all. I would put on. I looked at him and I was in love, but I couldn't put on. He knew me. And I think that's really what has sustained us. A daughter completes their family, and fatherhood brings out the old-fashioned country boy in Nick. I said, you're supposed to be showbiz. You got to get with it. What is wrong with you? And, you know, he's like, well, she can't possibly do that. Allowance? Why does she need money? <laughs> Fatherhood cancels all that. I mean, <laughs> she probably doesn't even realize how long it took me to adjust to. She's a liberated woman, right? An independent type of woman, like New York woman. I'm a country boy, right? So it took me a while to get the knack of it, you know? <laughs> She don't realize, but it never really leaves you. How you were brought up in your father's house, sort of always like, where's my big chair? <laughs> you, know? you know, you never forget how you grew up. It's sort of, although you make adjustments, those things they somehow stick with you a lot. Mm -hmm. Every gotta... now and then you'll come up with a real whopper. <laughs> Do you know what that? How male chauvinistic that sounds? <laughs> He's in the 80s. <laughs> I'm better than I was. Bro. He's a lot better. Yes, he is. <laughs> when superstars like Ashford and Simpson open a new restaurant in Manhattan, showbiz is what's expected. Nick thinks their venture is an obvious extension of their writing and performing. It's all like one hat in a suit. We're great people 
pleasers. We like to be involved with people. I ask myself, how are you going to touch all those people? How are you going to vibrate? And you really don't know. You really don't know until you get out on that stage. And I think uh, it's something in you that has to make you feel bigger than life. 